Hey there guys, so I'm back with another Power Ranger related video and this time I will be doing my top 10 favourite Megasols. Arguably my favourite thing out of Power Rangers. I'm judging this on appearance, introduction to the show and unique features. And also some swords count as Megasols if they're capable to fight their own battles. At number 10 is the Thunder Megasword. This is a great replacement to the original Megasword. I can watch this whether it's Power Rangers or Die Ranger, and I also love that ancient mystical beast theme to it. And also, the design is very original. Instead of the swords acting like heads and limbs, instead you have the armor for the Red Dragon Thunder Sword. It has a nice blend of colors and it's beautifully detailed. And also, I liked it how you get a sheath so you can store the sword. At number 9 is the Samurai Megazord. Now, Power Ranger Samurai is not really a good series, but the Samurai Megazord is probably the most beautiful Megazord on this list. It has two things I love from Japanese culture. One is origami, which the swords are, and two is samurai, which the Megazord is a giant robot samurai. And also it has that humanoid aspect. It has the combat and the self of a samurai. The very few aspects I like from Power Ranger Samurai is that the foot soldiers also grow as well as the monsters. So if there was like 10 Lugas to fight, we would get to see this Megazord at its prime. And number eight is Dragonzord. Now I'm still trying to get the Black Legacy Edition, but Dragonzord is actually based on Godzilla, not a dragon. But it has the capability to destroy a monster, possibly two. It has rockets coming out of its fingertips, it has a drill at the end of its tail, and it's so cool how it rises from the ocean. And I also love the control mechanism to it. It's controlled by the rhythm of the Dragon Dagger. And also it comes with a fighting mode, joined with the Sabertooth Tiger, the Triceratops, and the Mastodon. And what's so cool about it, it comes with like a drill spear and it, the finishing move when it stabs the monster in the heart is so violent. They had to edit it out when they were translating it to MMPR. At number 7 is the Titano Charge Megasword. I was so thrilled that we finally get a Brachio that isn't just a carrier sword. And I liked how, and this also goes to the rest of the Dino Charge swords, that it's not exclusive to the Silver Ranger. It has such a sleek design to it, and if you look closely, it also represents the other Dino Charge Megazords. It also comes with a long range axe, which was a nice addition since that was a rare kind of weapon for Megazords. At number 6 is the Time Force Megazord, and I know what you're thinking, of course this Megazord is going to be on this list. Time Force is my favourite series. True, but the Time Force Megazord has some really unique features to it. You have the Jet Mode, which is, causes hurricanes. You have a Blue Mode, which has a stealth and a blaster to weaken the monster. And you also have a Red Mode, which is a warrior with a shield and sword. And I love the clock element to the sword. What happens is the monster freezes, and the size of the sword becomes like a hands of a clock. So it closes, tock, tock, tick, tock, and it slashes the monster. And later on in the series, it combines with the uh, Time Shadow Megasword to make the Shadow Force Megasword, which also has a blue mode and a red mode. The Time Force Megasword to me never gets boring. Now, top five was a struggle, but at number five, I went for Megasword, the original, the one that started it all. I have the toy from 1993, and I also have the recent Black Edition from the Legacy line. That's how cool I am. But Megasaur to me is just so 90s. You have some robot dinosaurs that make a giant robot. It has that kind of Transformers Beast Wars feel to it. The swords look great, even though they look a bit bulky, but their unique features make up for it. Out of all the Megasaurs, the swords or Ultra Swords we have today, Megasaur is just the most iconic one by far. At number four is the Astro Megasaur. This one is basic, but in a great way. It was the first Megasaur not to be made from individual swords, just one ship with such unique features to it. And it makes you wonder that individual swords are kind of pointless. It doesn't have that five range of colors. Instead, it was mostly blue with a bit of red on, and it was a nice change. The Astro Mega Ship has that iconic look to it inside and out. It's up there with ships like the Millennium Falcon, the Enterprise, the Serenity. The cockpit itself is probably the most ideal cockpit to control a giant robot. At the back, you have control panels and visual readouts. It feels like you have a set of actual jobs in the cockpit. It comes with a sword, shield and blaster that can be stored in the mega ship. And also it was the base of operation for two ranger teams, the Space Rangers and the Lost Galaxy Rangers. The Ninja Mega Falcon Sword. Now a part of me wanted to put out number one because it ticks all the boxes for me. It has a great design to it, it has a great introduction in the series. And also it was the first mega sword to fly. And the, the swords itself has such a sleek design to them, especially the ape sword. And I liked it how in the series they started off with the Ninja Megazord, then later on they had the Shogun Megazord. 
Compared to Kakaraja, they did the reverse. They had the Shogun Meg Sword, then they had the Ninja Meg Sword. And also, it was a Meg Sword that didn't have weapons, which was quite interesting. Instead, it would fly down towards the monster and with charge up fists and destroy it. And number two is the Super Train Meg Sword. Of course, this one was going to be on the list. This one is huge. This one is a beast of a Megazord. The transformation sequence is amazing. It flies off the tracks, it transforms in mid flight, and it lands back on the tracks. It comes with rocket launchers, it comes with a turbine for that extra firepower, and not to mention it carries the rescue swords and the Omega swords as well. I remember when it was introduced. The rescue Megazord was getting completely wrecked by two monsters, so the rangers have to pull out the super train Megazord. And in that one shot, when you had the super train Megazord there and the monsters just there, they just look at each other like, we're so screwed. <laughs> so my favorite Megazord of all time, and this may become a surprise to you, but it's gotta be the Isis Megazord for so many reasons. Now, Wild Force may not be in my top 10 favorite series, but this is the Megazord that the Wild Force Rangers needed. I have nothing against the previous Megazords, but when the Rangers summon the Isis Megazord, the Rangers have pretty much got this. I liked how near the beginning of the series that each sword had their own introduction, and we didn't realize till the Falcon Sword arrives, when they combine together, they make such an incredible Megazord. Plus, we didn't get the five typical Ranger colors. Instead, we got a crimson red, an orange, a purple, an azure blue, and a seafoam green. The design of the Megazord looks beautiful, especially the eyes on the wings, and it uses the capability to fly at its full potential. And it comes with an armadillo, and you thought it would never work, but it does as a football, and it's such a great finisher move. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Go like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, what are your top 10 favorite Megazords? Comment down below. Till next time, I got your back.